On this Branco video tutorial, we're going to cover how to properly add an area page to your MyKW website through Playster. So once you're on your site's page, as always, go into View Details for the site that you're wanting to update and add an area page to. Once you're inside of that site, you can then click on Areas, and then click the plus symbol to add a new one. When we're adding a new area, we're wanting to focus on a, a neighborhood for this specific one that we're going to be creating today. So I've decided I'm going to add an area page to our website about Avalon Park, which is a neighborhood inside of the Orlando area. So under type of area, I've selected neighborhood if you're doing a county, click county. A region is usually uh, different states. Locality or postal codes can also be an option. So once I go under neighborhood, I'm going to go ahead and let it expand and just type in Avalon. And we want to do Avalon Park specifically. And there we go. So let's add some slideshow photos. Just to make note, images should be 1600 pixels by 600 pixels. So if you have your images in the size that you need from any of your photo editors that you have available to you, um, you can then upload them by clicking Upload File. I have them all under Area Pages. I'm going to select Area, my, my Slider 1, 2, and 3, or Slider 1. Then I can select and add my second. And I'm gonna round it out with my third so we can make sure that we have a full carousel of photos for this page. All right, so we have our three slideshow photos added in. It's time to get into our content. So my page content, my headline, I'm going to begin by naming it About Avalon Park. I'm gonna just copy and paste. Okay, so you'll notice that the content here has um, Avalon Park written within it. So don't be afraid to use the word Avalon Park because that's one of our keywords. That's a, one of the main reasons that we're adding this area page to begin with. And in through here, it's using a number of keywords such as you know development and um, you know office, commercial buildings, uh, multifamily. It's got a lot of very important keywords to help try and land people when it comes to search engines for Avalon Park. So if we want to add in another full width photo, um, I'm just going to use one of the photos that I have and let's see. Let's do the map and click open. Okay, and then we have a subhead. So inside this one I have planned to discuss why Avalon Park? Pose the question and then paste in my content that I've already written. If I want to add in another photo, let's go ahead and add in this one. And this one will sit to the right of it, so let's set that one up too. And the last subhead, I have information about homes of Avalon Park. I'm adding in a lot of content about why someone should want to live in this specific neighborhood. All right, and then down here at the bottom is an excerpt. So an excerpt is a shortened version of kind of what I've written so far. So if I wanna just pick something really nicely worded in what I've written already, let's, we can grab, uh, this is nice, so let's just grab it for right now and add that as our excerpt paste it and if we wanted to use a featured image so let's grab one of our nicest photos that we have so that it can show up as our featured image so let's grab the unedited version of the sign which I'm also using as one of these slideshow um, sliders 
And then last but not least, and probably one of the still most important things is going to be your meta area at the bottom. The meta title is essentially how your information that you've just made this page in general will show up in a search engine. So it'll state, you know, um, the name of the page, the URL, and then below that I'll have a short description. So let's go ahead and just paste in our really nice little worded thing here if we want. Um, I suggest writing something up that also includes the name of your business or um, definitely make sure that it includes the words Avalon Park or the, the neighborhood that you're working on. So um, Avalon Park is a great place to live. And let's go ahead and click Save. And then last but not least, we want to be able to access this. So we're going to add it to the menu real quick just so we can see it for ourselves. Avalon Park, click Add, and then click Save. So let's view our live site. And then if we click Avalon Park, you'll see our slideshow that we've created. Scroll down, you'll see the different sections of the pages that we the page that we created. So you have the about Avalon Park that I added that adds information that's pretty general, specific to this neighborhood. The map that I added, why Avalon Park, and this has um, a lot of the information about all the amenities that Avalon Park has to offer someone that lives within it. This is the left and right photo that we added, and this is our final. Um, final subtext and body content that we added, which talks about the different kinds of homes that are available in Avalon Park. Now, but in the beginning of creating our area page, we selected that it was a neighborhood and, and that it was an Avalon Park. So we can see the listings that it's given us now um, for Avalon Park as well. Now, if we wanted to add in an areas page that includes like an index of all the areas that we've created, we can do that too. So if we go to Playster and click on Pages and click the thing to add a new one, go under Template and there should be one that says Areas Index. And you can see that Avalon Park has showed up for um, as a page that we can add to this. Um, and let's title the page communities. We may want to add content here saying um, Orlando is full of amazing communities just waiting for you and your family. Just something quick and easy just so we can at least see this. And you would obviously fill out the meta title on the meta description area. Click Save. edit the menu which is going to add the communities page here and because we already have Avalon Park on our menu we can put this under the communities page that we've just added on our menu so let's go ahead and save it and take another look so you can see our communities page here if we click on it then you'll see our Avalon Park that we created here that's awesome and then we can click on it and go directly into our area page for Avalon Park and that's how you begin adding your area pages. If you've kind of followed the formula of adding the information about the neighborhood, um, about the amenities, essentially the reason why someone should want to live there, and about the kinds of, of homes that are in there, you're kind of covering all of your bases as far as any of the keywords that someone could put in to look for a specific neighborhood in which they may want to move to. So. I hope that helps in your future creation of area pages to help build out the content in your new KW website powered by Playster.